there was a note left on my car windshield. Let's just say your girl still got it. Perfect. Welcome to Plamis. I love the comments of the Plamis, by the way. Love it. We're keeping it. Mackenzie, definitely make a banner or something that I can put in the front. Plamis is great. Um, I'm running extremely late, so I did want to show you guys a couple things with the plants, the children, but uh, I'm going hiking. Um, so I don't, I'm a little worried. <laughs> If you're not following me, you should really follow me on Instagram, willow underscore faith. This summer, I crushed it. I really struggled um, mentally and physically, but luckily enough, because um, I live in beautiful British Columbia, I was able to camp and hike and backcountry camp every single weekend. I think I did 12 weeks straight, um, and I post a bunch of videos and, and pictures on there, and I'm proud of myself but it helped me so much mentally and uh, made some beautiful um, friendships and now because there's a little bit of snow on the mountains it's definitely been hard to keep that kind of tradition going where we're hiking every weekend but uh, I bought um, crampons or micro spikes whatever you want to call them so this helps you dig into the ice and the snow and they go over your boots I'll show you when I put them on um, also, the sun goes down at 4 p.m., so that's a tough thing. And we have low elevation bears, so that is tough too because the bears are still out and they're hungry. So that's that. Um, and yeah, you just don't know what the conditions are like at the top. We've just had the best week ever here in Vancouver. Um, in Vancouver, you don't get a lot of snow in the main, like at the, the base, you just get them on the mountaintops unlike other parts of Canada, we, it's, it rains. It rains constantly for four months straight. Um, but that's why everything's so green and lush and it's warmer. It's a warmer climate. Uh, if it was colder, it would snow. So this whole week, seven days straight, we just had 10 degrees Celsius and sun and it's been great. So I think, I think we're going to be okay. We're going to hike a little bit of the mountain today. One of my favorite mountains. I think there's just snow up at the top but uh, this is kind of be one of the first um, big hikes. It's, it's going to be a grind for sure. Um, I'm meeting Molly and Leia there. Social distancing, they're also kind of part of my bubble because I'm single living alone. Uh, but we're going to drive in separate cars and meet and be socially distanced outside. We are going for a sunset hike. We are racing against the clock. Uh, I think this hike's supposed to take us like four hours and we're leaving three hours for sunlight. That's why I'm bringing the headlamps and uh other things you should bring is that just like extra um, warm clothes so i'm gonna bring an extra puff these micro puffs are super super light i have a few we're actually gonna go with we'll actually go with this guy um the other hood just in case it's pretty windy up there i don't think it is like it's so beautiful out but you just never know so and then i can pack this in either wear it or pack it in this book bag. Also, uh, this guy, my marina wool. So this thing, because wool, um, when it gets wet, 
uh, it dries quicker. Cotton will just stay wet and keep you cold and really heavy. So you definitely want wool or polyester um, as your kind of base layer or those quick dry like running shirts. So I'll wear that as my base. Um, I'll wear warmer tights um, like leggings and then obviously wool socks. I'm gonna bring another sweater. I'm gonna bring, again, it's polyester. It's so warm. And again, uh, if it gets wet, it dries way quicker than cotton will and it's just warmer. And actually, I got this at Uniqlo and it was really affordable. It was like 30 bucks, maybe $25 Canadian. Um, but yeah, I can talk about my gear and like where I get them in another video if you'd like to see that. So, Brad Took, I'm gonna be, the first thing you have to remember is that you wanna start cold in any hike because you're gonna actually start getting your heart rate up, you're gonna start sweating, and the worst thing is like just wearing so many layers and getting super overheated or getting your clothes wet and damp already. So start cold and then you can always just layer up. Um, let people know what you're doing, what your plan is, what you're wearing, okay? Um, and how I find kind of updates, I use all trails, I use Vancouver trails, and I also just go on Instagram or blogs and I see who has hiked this kind of in the last week or in the last two days, just to see what the conditions are like. Or sometimes I just put it out there and I'll message some people that I know are avid hikers and been like, hey, have you done this? Do you know what it's like? Or do you know what it's like usually around this time? Um, there's also some great uh, Facebook groups too about hikes and stuff. Just ask around. Um, better to be safe than sorry. I wish I could bring you with us. I wish I could. You don't like the leash. I wish I could bring you though, like a dog. Imagine hiking with Nola. Also bring different shoes than I actually wear on the mountain. So there's my Blundstones because they get so muddy and wet and it's just nice to put on like comfier boots after you've been hiking in them for a few hours. So just that's my little tip, works for me. I didn't have hiking boots for almost five years living in Vancouver and these are a game changer. The hiking boots are worth it. Oh yeah, did I tell you guys to bring water? Bring water. Like, bring water. <laughs> as fast as we've been going for the last half hour. Uh, yeah. We are in crazy traffic because of huge accident. Not good. Uh, I'm not even making this like dramatic for the vlog. <laughs> We are in a race of sunlight now because this has put us back 45 minutes, which is crazy. Uh, I also was going to stop and get a sandwich because I forgot to eat lunch. I actually forgot to eat. Didn't get that. Can't do that. So the one thing that this pandemic has just, uh, it's keeping us all here, like local in Vancouver. And there's so many of us, uh, perks, there's pros and cons of living in a large city uh usually people are running to different types of mountains or just traveling but we're all stuck here in local mountains so traffic and accidents are just higher than ever and um this isn't good we're still i just talked to molly and leia like they're like how you feel and i'm like i say we try it i say we just try to like literally sprint up this mountain I mean, we'll keep an eye on the time, and uh, if we have to turn back, we have to turn back because I think they closed the gates to have five, so we would live on the mountain. We would actually live there. We wouldn't be able to drive out. Uh, yeah, so Google Maps is telling me it's gonna take me another half hour. Not looking good. The gate will lock for this mountain at five. This hike is supposed to take majority of people four hours. We're gonna try to do it in two. Um, I'm a little worried. I haven't really hiked hiked in this like like a steep elevation since what? First of October, middle of October. So that's almost six, seven weeks. I would not recommend this. I wouldn't, but uh, I have to try it. I'm stubborn as hell. And I'm like, we're going, the girls were like, let's just walk around. I'm like, no, we're doing this. I miss the mountains. I miss hiking up them. I miss, we're doing it.
This isn't gonna be fun. <laughs> is this not gonna be fun? It might. Well, here we go. Bye. What? How are we doing? How are we doing? Where she lives? Is she okay? In city. It's like just south of South. 347. Hey, we're back at 447. I don't think I can. You don't? 347? What do you mean? Okay, so we'll turn around at 340. How's that? Okay, we'll Oh, I am. Yeah, I, you explore online. Oh, but yeah. How do you get so sweaty so fast? Oh, yeah. I get sweaty in like one minute. Wow. Hot, sexy girl tips for hiking. Me and Miguel. Um, I'm home now. <sighs> that didn't go as planned at all. Um, okay, let me walk you through what happened. We got to the base of the hike and we realized it was a 10 kilometer hike. And it's steep. It's just straight up like this. The gate closes at five and the gate is like down, like probably about a 10 minute drive to where we parked. So then we were like maybe 15 too. So we're trying to figure this out in our head. Also Molly's just like very good at like being on time, but also just being safe. And that's really important. I just got it in my head where I was like, we gotta get to the top, we can't quit. And so we pushed it and we pushed and it, it was tough. It was a really tough hike, really warm. I had way too many layers on. I could have done it in shorts, to be completely honest. Um, it was a little busier than I thought it was going to be, but uh, sun was beautiful. It was great to see those girls. But realistically, as we climbed for about 45 minutes, like just straight up, Molly was like, we got to turn around. Um, and... I was like, yeah, you're right. The problem is once I, and this is something I'm working on. Let me know if you're the same. It's horrible and I'm training my brain to be a lot better. But once I have something in my brain and it doesn't work out or that initial plan, like the final plan doesn't work out, I'm like, well, what's the point anyway? It's a poor attitude, it's horrible and something I'm still working on. I do this all the time where I'm like, well, what's the point? And so as I knew we weren't gonna make it to the top, I started to get into this bad mood as I was hiking, which sucks because I love seeing Molly and Leia. I love being out in nature. I love sunsets. I just love hiking. And I was just like in, I went from like this ambitious, like happy willow to just being like, hmm, like, like a sooky child. Like, I don't know. I just was like, well, what's the point? In my head, I was like, let's just turn around now. Like, why are we even doing this? And I've been working on this, and actually my therapist has given me this, is to change the vocabulary or just the mindset of just like, we're going to spend some time. We're spending some time around the mountains. We're spending some time in the forest. Instead of just looking at like the final outlook or like the, you know, just it's like trying to get from point A to point B. It's like enjoy the ride, enjoy the journey. And I know that, but it's just so hard to get there. And I did that with my relationship where I was like, we didn't make it. We didn't, instead of realizing what beautiful five years we had and I've come, you know, I'm, I'm there and I'm like, oh yeah. Cause you just forget. It's like so easy to remember like the very, very, very high point or the, the, you know, the, the finishing goal or like, I mean, we all do this or it's like, did you do this? Did you reach this? You know? Yeah. When it's like, enjoy all the steps you did to get there. Um, and then we came down and it was so hard on the knees and uh, I'm really happy that we did that because doing that in the pitch dark, um, just rushing to get to the gate, um, would have been, yeah, it just wouldn't have been good. We are going to go back and do it. Uh, we're just going to be smarter with time. We are going to do the sunset hike and we know it's, uh, we'll just try again. 
and also it's just really good to see them and what i really appreciate is just because we've hiked with each other so much and got to know each other so much and spent so much time with each other that we talk about these things and they're like how are you feeling willow like where's your brain at like just so we can kind of decompress and like let it all out which was good and i told them i was like i'm kind of upset but and they're like that's okay but uh yeah we'll try again hopefully this week um but yeah it's just something i really need to like work on i do it all the time we're like yeah if i didn't get a job or if i didn't you know if i didn't get that one thing it's like i'm so hard on it and then i'm like oh, i almost want to just give up on everything which is so wrong um i've been working on that for sure oh my god i forgot to tell you guys oh my god oh my god um so when i parked my car to go to the hike uh there were two gentlemen there and we were just chatting i was just being friendly willow and when i came back the hike excursion there was a note left on my car windshield let's just say your girl still got it with the men men still love me amazing um he wants to take me on a date so that's great it's a short guy because you know i love short things um here i thought i was going to die alone a little worried but uh your girl is still certified hottie nice christmas came early awesome